If there is any brother or person who knows of the just cause, why any of these brethren should not be installed into office, he will make it known now. Master elect to the altar. 
there to receive the benefit of prayer and to repeat his official obligation. steadfast in thy service. Grant him firmness of mind. Animate his heart and strengthen his endeavors. May he teach thy judgments and thy laws and be thy true and faithful servant. Bless him, O Lord, and bless the work of his hands. Accept us in mercy. Hear thou our prayer and grant our earnest supplications. Amen. So Masons remain standing, the rest may take your seats. submit to the laws of the country in which you reside. You promise not to be concerned in plots and conspiracies against the but patiently submit to the law and the constituted authorities. You agree to uh, pay proper respect to the civil magistrates, to the work to work diligently, live creditably, and act honorably toward all men. You promise to hold in veneration the original rulers and patrons of Freemasonry and their regular successors supreme and supported and to, su to submit to the awards and resolutions of your brethren when in lodged in being that in every case consistent with the constitutions of Freemasonry. You agree to avoid private things and morals and to guard against intemperance and excess. You agree to be courteous in your behavior Cautious in your behavior, courteous to your brethren and faithful to your lives. You agree to respect genuine brethren and to discountenance impostors and dissenters from the original plan of masonry. You agree to pay homage to the Grand Master and his officers when duly installed and to submit to, the, to every edict of the Grand Lodge or any assembly of masons, if not subversive, to the groundwork and principles of masonry. You agree to support the general good order of society, to cultivate the social virtues, and to propagate the knowledge of the mystic art. You agree that it is not in the power of any person or any body of men 
to make alterations or innovations to a body in masonry without consent first obtained from the annual. <laughs> Okay. A regular attempt to the committees Bye. and communications of the Grand Lodge on receiving proper notice and to attend to all duties in masonry on convenient occasions. You agree that no new lodge can be formed without permission from the Grand Master or his deputy and that no confidence shall be given to any irregular lodge or any person when they can be made therein. You agree that no person can be regularly made a mason in or admitted a member of any regular lodge without previous notice and no inquiry into his character. You agree that no visitor can be admitted into your lodge without due examination and satisfactory evidence of his having been initiated in the regular lodge. These are the regulations of free and accepted masons. Do you submit the discharges and promise to support these regulations as all masters in all ages have done before you? My brother, in your cheerful conformity to the ancient charges and regulations of our fraternity, you are now to be installed worshipful master of the Moyes Lodge number 245 with full confidence of your skill and ability to govern the same. Worshipful Brother Installing Marshall, you will conduct our Worshipful Master Elect to the East. Constitutions you are to search at all times. 
cause it to be read in the lodge that none may pretend ignorance to the excellent precepts, to the excellent precepts which they enjoy. And now I present you in special charge the charter. By which authority this lodge is held. And as, as its lawful custodian, and as its lawful custodian, you are to carefully preserve and transmit to, to the successors of your office. And I also present to you the special charge, the Bible of your lodge, which you are to, to see that it is carefully and functionally executed. And lastly, I present to you, Miguel, an additional insignia of your rank and authority. Will it, my brother, with prudence and discretion, firmly but never arbitrarily to the end that peace and good order may be preserved? Now I seek you in the Oriental Chair and cover you with that distinction, which in this lodge it is your privilege alone to wear. Portugal Master, would you raise the lodge? Worshipful Master, behold your brethren. Brethren, join me with the grand honors. Place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I solemnly promise. I solemnly promise. Upon the honor of a mason. Upon the honor of a mason. That I will. That I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Strictly comply with. Strictly comply with. Abide by. Abide by. All the laws. All the laws. Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Of the most worshipful. The most worshipful Grand Lodge, Grand Lodge of free and accepted basis. The bylaws of the Moines Lodge number 245. And all the ancient customs and usages. Customs and usages so far as they shall come to my knowledge. So far as they shall come to my knowledge. And I will punctually, carefully, perform. Perform all the duties, all, all the duties of the to my office.
myself, I now present to you, Brother Dale Corris Sr., who has been elected as Senior Warden of this Lodge. My brother, you have been elected Senior Warden of this Lodge and will now be invested with the jewel of your office. In behalf of the officers and members of Pinmont's Lodge, number 245, I wish to thank the installation team headed by uh, most worshipful Sandy Lascano, past Grandmaster of the Moin of the most worshipful Grand Lodge of Washington, from Alpha Lodge to 112 in April 212. <clears throat> and Portugal brother Rick Magal from Photography Committee of the Grand Lodge and the Portugal brothers of the Moines Lodge. They are most of after brothers providing their selfless assistance to Mesos anywhere in the parts of our state. Their Masonic Knowledge and wisdom is certainly expandable assets to the fraternity. I salute them for keeping our ancient tradition alive. Brethren, accept my proper gratitude. Thank you very much. Secondly, I wish to thank elected and appointed officers. Brothers, you have agreed to serve the Papa the coming Masonic years with me. Thank you for volunteering your service to help our lives and its membership stand up against the challenge of putting our vision into reality. I wish to thank to all those outside from the crowd who have made my election passport, especially to my wife, Julie. She is over there. And my kids who are this evening as well as relative, they are doing very hard work for me to present this uh, ceremony. They are my son and my daughter, my son-in-law over there. supported me with your love and intelligence in my pursuit of the craft and cannot thank them enough for their kindness and sacrifice in doing so. In every days of masonry, this, this kind of masonry is exclusive for mason only. In fact, some largest conduct their, their installation for mason only. Time has changed, so now we invite the public to witness the installation for each officer, and it's also good exercise in public relation effort. I certainly hope that this event will give some kind of perspective upon what masonry is all about. And now, lastly, I like to thank the most worshipful brothers, very worshipful brothers, worshipful brothers all, for the successful ceremony gracing this occasion. I would like to close this program tonight by once again thanking everyone for gracing this occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you.